the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. This is the Sports Vote Campaign Update for Sunday, October 21st, 2021. Everything is politics. I said this four years ago. Even going to the grocery store with or without a mask is politics now. Kirk, or William Shatner, oldest guy in space. That's the problem with the media narrative. Once it's set, it's very hard to change. Gambling is like drugs, booze, cigarettes, prostitution, and other harmful vices that will grow like the wheat amongst the tares, as mentioned in the Bible. Our job is to promote a profitable, safe, and healthy alternative lifestyle. Salvation versus damnation. More gambling deals equal more losses for DraftKings, more addicts, and more corruption. Their investment strategy is reckless and unfocused, a splatter bomb, as you will. We are David in the David versus Goliath story. Who won that story or who won that, ba- that challenge again? Read the Bible if you don't know. As in Costa Rica, sportsbookers will flee and join our platform never to return. We will not need to spend untold millions jamming toxic waste down people's throats and turning them into reprobate gamblers like the operators. See their investment strategy as mentioned before. We are SpaceX and Tesla. How many ads do you see? It's a media-driven strategy. How do you attract the media? You have something to talk about that draws eyeballs. We've done it before. We'll do it again. Your voice and your money determine your values or actually represent your values. So what you spend your your voice on, meaning whatever you put out in the public domain, whatever you talk about, whatever you advocate for, and what you spend money on determines or rather reveals your values. So this week, the SEC decided after flip-flopping and flip-flop, 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 decided that a BTC or a Bitcoin ETF was just fine. Um, it, it Corruption, 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 corruption. Look, the price of Bitcoin is controlled by a very small syndicate of wallets. This has been shown over and over again, and I just don't get it. I my faith in this uh, regulatory regime just shrinks every day more. Elon Musk was right about the SEC. They say XRP is bad. Bitcoin, Ripple is bad. Bitcoin is good, good, bad, good, bad. Flip flop, flip flop, flip flop. Okay, so hype on overdrive. Public's going to get burned. More fools will be sucked in. It's going to make the wealth gap worse. Ace was right 15, about 15 years ago, a little more. Regulators don't care about the markets. They care about whoever pays them the most to make the rules. In our case, we need to find or create a league. Fundraise number one, number one, that's all we need. We were there with NRHL, and they, the SEC stabbed us in the back, uh, messing that all up. And now NRHL doesn't exist. Probably wouldn't be the case if uh, that wouldn't have happened. Uh, we would have gotten our order number one, and they wouldn't be dead. So nothing else matters. Uh, until we get order number one done by whatever means necessary, I expect the regulators to do the wrong thing or nothing at all as related to us. Uh, allowing Bitcoin ETFs, SPACs, and uh, other types of things like this are actually more favorable to our case for ASM sport shares. It actually is better for us that they do allow this nonsense because what we are proposing is not nonsense. So logic would say um, if they will advocate for nonsense, then um, – that should grease the slide for us or make it easier for us when the time comes. But again, I don't expect them to do anything. I just think we need to get out there and do the job. I mean, look at what has happened in the crypto space. Just do the job and fill in the uh, fill in whatever's necessary on the backside. Uh, in 2019, about this point, two years ago, actually seems like longer than that, um, I visited Crazy Horse in uh, South Dakota on my way up to see um, the Hero Club event one of the Hero Club events. Um, There's a very interesting story and timeline behind that. Uh, There are some parallels to ASM. I'm not going to get into the details of that, but study that if you're interested, um, how how long of a journey that was, what they've been trying to do. Um, You know, there's their their challenges and and their timelines and et cetera. Uh, We have a lawless society that's only getting worse by the day. Uh, Sad to say this is guaranteed failure if it doesn't change direction. Um, Our issues are not related to raising funds for ASM. That is a false claim. Uh, What we need to do is raise funds for a sports or esports league or create that league and publicize it. uh, That means we need to actually provide money for someone to make this work. 
If you want to challenge me on that, then I want you to explain how we're still here after no fundraising programs for about two years. It's getting close to two years now. So how are we still here if that's the issue? That's not the issue. The issue is that we need to demonstrate a fundraise uh, and publicize it. We know how to do public relations work. Nobody can say that's not true. Take a look at our history in Hollywood and in back to Costa Rica. We are very successful in getting public attention via the media. So... Um, once again, it comes down to order number one, which we were two years two years ago. We were right at the gate again and got stabbed in the back by people on the outside and people on the inside again. So the uh, ISO of Kraken is up about 400%, give or take, so far. Um, so that's going well. Fake purity. Do not pretend that we have to be perfect in our entire history to be a success. That's nonsense. If the 2016 election cycle and everything that's happened since then didn't prove that, uh, try the Bible, that story about casting stones. It sure would be nice to talk to people who don't sound like TV shows uh, and and personalities that they see or hear. Uh, Think for yourself. You're not going to get any respect from me if you don't think for yourself. And frankly, anybody with a brain. Promoting crypto is promoting a fiction. Do-it-yourself money creation out of thin air. Read the history books on how that kind of thing turns out. Powell of the Fed traded on inside information uh, before coronavirus was announced. That's more corruption at the very top of the government. Look at the LIBOR scandal for a comparison on the scope, but this is worse. Keep promoting destructive vices from the past, and fictions like crypto and China will become the number one superpower, and they should. Yes, the SEC stabbed us in the back. They ruined our 2019 NRHL deal, which probably contributed, as I said above, in the death of the NRHL. My introduction to D.C. when I first started traveling there, I think it was in 2006, somewhere around there, uh, plus or minus a year. Um, I was asked on my very first meeting in Washington, why are you not afraid of being arrested on the spot? Uh, By the former head of law enforcement at the Justice Department, who I think his name was Jonathan Weiner, if I remember right. Why was I asked that question? Uh, 1961 Wire Act, the law that still in effect. uh, And that, you know, they were looking at us as a, uh, as a gambling mock-up, basically as a, as a gambling outfit in disguise. So the 1961 Wire Act um, would be the reason for that. And there were prosecutions in Costa Rica in the early 2000s, I believe it was, um, based upon that now everybody pretends that law doesn't exist when, in fact, it was restated earlier this year. So back to the lawlessness and uneven application of the laws. It just goes on and on. So on crypto, said this from actually the very first time I understood what crypto was back in 2009 was my first conversation with somebody who's actually a pioneer in it. When it was explained to me, um, my first question was, so the miners hold up the network. So what happens when... There's no miners, which the miners will disappear when there's no incentive to mine. And there's actually been cases of this becoming an issue when the price goes down and the electrical cost is makes it not profitable to continue to mine. So, again, the analogy is um, it's like gold mining saying that all the gold mine, – unless people continue to mine gold, gold doesn't have any value and all the gold that's been mined disappears. That's already been mined. So no incentive to mine, which means when the last coin is mined for whatever flavor of the week uh, crypto you want to talk about, what happens when the last coin is mined, the whole system collapses because there's no incentive to mine. People turn the miners off, the network disappears. Look, I've yet to hear any – nobody ever challenges me on this because there's no way to challenge me. It's absolutely 100% rock-solid logic, okay? You want to give it a try, give it a try. Send your defense – to help at allsportsmarket.com, and I'll make it public. But I don't want to hear any fanboy crap. Uh, Logic, okay? Defeat the logic I just gave you. So you might make some capital gains if your market timing is good and you can get the money in and out of your wallet without being robbed or forgetting your password, and that's a lot harder than it uh, seems. Uh, Getting the money in and out, give it a try with a small amount and see what happens. You'll see for yourself. This is all a scam, and all scams fail eventually. So it's just going to be, sadly, it's going to be the biggest one in the history of the world. Uh, The Petito murder now looks like murder-suicide case is a sad testament to social media, what it has done to our society, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Invest versus bet, that's our proposition at the core. 
Um, again, it's really that simple. One word versus another. Who in their right mind is going to bet on sports if they can invest it in, in, instead? That's the key point. That is, It all comes down to just that. Two words, invest versus, well, you know, a challenge. Invest versus bet. That's it. Truth social. Oh, boy, that's a funny one. Okay, so go ahead and go with that in this right is wrong, uh, wrong is right, upside down world makes perfect sense. Scam built on a shortcut, financed by a shortcut. Legal challenges are already lining up because like everything done by this man, it's uh, got holes all over the place. And, you know, they float the stock for a non-existent um, company with a SPAC uh, that has no fi- – it's just, look – do not unevenly enforce the rules if you want rules to be respected. You can have a IPO structure where it's highly vetted, it's very difficult, there's a lot of gatekeepers, a lot of things you have to do, and then turn around and say it's perfectly fine to float something that has no financials, no due diligence. None of that stuff is done, and then flip the stock a 1,000% gain, I think, in the first couple of days. I mean, it's just, come on, guys. Don't ask me to take you seriously if this is how you do things, speaking about regulation. When you make a claim, it's your job to prove that claim, not my my job to disprove it. I don't know what kind of logic that is, okay? If you make a claim, it's your job to prove it with facts and evidence and not my job to disprove it, okay? That's not how it works. United States Postal Service, uh, DeJoy, wow, conflicts of interest out the gazoo, um, well, any surprise. Not going to get uh, this system put on the right track and the rule of law restored if this kind of stuff continues. It's only going to get worse and worse and worse until collapse. The Baldwin shoot, shooting, um, yeah, I have actually had some discussions with Ace about this to get the backstory because um, actually some of the roommates are members of IATC 44, which is the union. Um, yeah, this is going to be a story of greed, impatience, ego, and shortcuts unfortunately. And it's going to break open into a much larger conversation. Expect the union to uh, really make a big deal out of this. So in summary, the SEC allows DraftKings to break the 1961 Wire Act uh, thousands of times per minute, as I've explained previously. And uh, you want to challenge that reasoning? Go for it. Help at allsportsmarket.com. I'll be happy to publish it. Float the latest latest Trumpian scam via SPAC, uh, which is apparently using stolen software. And approves an, an ETF on Bitcoin after going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth on this, which is the largest Ponzi scheme in the history of the world. Um, all of this kind of stuff is going to come up in our discussions with the SEC and how inconsistent their reasoning is. And frankly, street gangs have higher ethics than they do based on this kind of stuff. So thank you for your time uh, and have a nice day. I'll speak with you again in two weeks.